Welcome to a Farming Simulator 19 Guide 2 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Trains. That's what the Guide 2 is going to be about today. Um, and if you're one of those people that are watching thinking, why do you need a Guide 2 on trains? I know how to use trains. Then this is not the Guide 2 for you. This is a Guide 2 for people who are struggling. Um, I have had quite a few comments left asking me, can I do a Guide 2 on the trains, how they work, silos, etc. So. Um, this isn't a train, this is a fit. But to understand the trains, we need to understand the silos and the silo system. And when I say understand, to the best of our ability, to the best of my knowledge, at the moment, things can change, things can be recoded, things can be um, updated. So, you know, at the moment, this is how it stands. If I go into my menu, I've got my prices screen. And what we've now got in game is this menu, where it tells you the silos you've owned, you owned with their capacity and silos other. Silos owned are the ones that are placed at your farm. The placed one, and this is set on new farmer at the moment, just to show you this. If you play on farm manager or you play on, I don't know, I'm not sure about farm manager. But if you play on start from scratch, um, there's nothing in your silos. You don't have anything yet. So those are all showing zero. So that's why I wanted to show you one here. And if you play on um, start from scratch, you don't own a silo yourself. So there's nothing there at all. Anyway, silos owned are the ones that are placed. The ones that are placed on New Farmer is 200,000 litre capacity. According to that, it's got 15,588 litres in it. But then you've got silos other. Silos other are referring to the train silos, the railroad silos. There's silo east and silo west. On both maps, there is a silo east and silo west. I'm on Ravenport at the moment. And both of those numbers are identical. Now, I don't know if that's an accident. I don't know if it's kind of it automatically duplicated or whether that was done on purpose. When I did my first look map tour, I caused a bit of confusion there because I assumed you could access them from anywhere. Some people have told me after that first look, yeah, yeah, you can. And then I've had a load of people say to me, that's completely wrong, you can't. So that's what we're gonna look at as well today. Um, so according to that, there's 15,588 in the silo you own at the farm. And then there's in silos other, there's 15,588. So we're gonna find out whether or not they are indeed the same or whether they are separate silos completely. That's why I'm here at the farm silo. So what I'm gonna do now is press L3. I'm gonna do the wheat, so I'm gonna start filling. I'm gonna fill this trailer up completely. We're gonna use this in a little while anyway. Um, and now we go back into that menu. If we zoom in again, you can see that the silos owned, the silo we own, the one I've just emptied, has gone down. Silos other hasn't. So indeed, those figures are not the same figures. That's not actually referring to the same crop. That's different. There's 15,588 in each. As far as the silos of the total capacity, as far as I've managed to glean, 400,000 litres is the total capacity for both silos. So it's 200,000 litres for each silo. Now again, that could be wrong. Someone may come and say, no, it's 400,000 litres for each. I haven't filled them both to capacity yet. I have no idea um, that I'm basing this based on things people have messaged me, um, what I've seen through play, um, but I think they're 200,000 litres each. So what we're gonna do now is move to the train. This will become more relevant in a little while because I'm gonna take this up to one of the silos to aid in the video. I will see you up there in a moment. So here we have our train. This is the one on Ravenport, on Feldsbrunn. It's more of an alpine looking train. Um, this is a big old American loco. Very, very nice indeed. Now, there are a couple of changes from Farming Simulator 17. And because this is the guide to trains, you probably need to know what those are. Um, one, on Farming Simulator 17, on the maps that had trains, if you weren't using them if you weren't in them they just sat wherever they were on fs19 if you walk away from these and leave them and i'm not too sure what the time how long that is but after a certain amount of time of not being used they will automatically go off and go around the tracks themselves which adds a kind of nice bit of realism to it a bit more kind of of a dynamic living kind of map it can be frustrating sometimes if you bring the train to a point, you go off to get a tractor to do something, come back and the train's gone if you're waiting to use it. So, you know, it's, it's either way. 
Um, I've left the controls menu open, the help window in the top left hand corner, because I think it's important that we have that open. So, most of these come with, and it will depend on maps as new maps come out. Some mod maps don't have trains on at all. Some do, and they'll be different. There'll be different amounts of carriages. They'll, you know, it all depends on the mod of themselves. But for these two starting off, we've got a grain um, carriage car. Um, we've got one that's open topped. I think we can get onto the top of this one. I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my throat seems to be horrendous in the mornings. I don't know why. So we get onto the top of this one. This one's an open one. Now, what I have found from a little bit of testing is that you can actually put any of the crops in any of these. It used to be that one would only take root crops, one would take grain, um, one would be open for things like wood chips, that kind of thing. Wood chips would go in this, but as far as I can make out, they take all of them. Um, we'll have a look at that in a minute. This one's for your logs. This one is a root crop one, because it's got... Weirdly enough, it's got carrots on the side, but we don't have carrots in game. But anyway, um, I like the attention to detail on these as well little bits of graffiti and stuff that people have put on there where they've been waiting in a shunting yard somewhere and then we've got a flatbed one on the back so if you wanted to transport um, pallets and various different things around the map you can I did try this with a tractor on the back <coughs> and I was gutted because I was hoping there was going to be a lock-in script and there wasn't um, it, it just flew off the back as soon as I drove off at any kind of speed um, but anyway this one and the logging one do have straps frustratingly though on FS17 when you came up to the side of a truck or anything with straps they would highlight straight away you get oh it, there you go kind of like that but it doesn't work as effectively I've found on the train cars you've got to really find a sweet spot so if you want to go for that realism thing you want to do them manually you can do so what we're going to do is uh, jump into the train and I'm going to show you a couple of things. I, I don't want this to be too long, but I want to make sure I get all the information in there. So we jump into the train. Um, we can start it up by pressing R1 and square. Get a bit closer. So turn off. R1 and square. There we go. If I press, if I toggle my R3, I can look inside the cab and do it from in cab. If you want to go in cab or out of cab which again is wonderful if I go to the menu what I was talking about was you can have trains where are we switch to trains if I go all the way down here you can have switch to trains on or off so as you scroll through your vehicles um, you can scroll through and scroll onto a train like so I can scroll through my vehicles and scroll to the, into a train if you turn that off you will scroll through all of your vehicles but you won't scroll into a train so you can turn it on and off if you want to which is lovely next thing you need to know top left hand corner if I take that control menu off the help window like so top left hand corner we have got a tractor with lots of little trailer icons now that used to be on FS17 but it was it was elsewhere in the help window it, well, it wasn't in the help window it was down in the main menu down the bottom right hand corner and that would be the one that would show you like whether it would hook up and stuff and how many trailers so what you need to do with this on trains and this is the, the difference with trains now on FS17 when you went over a buy or sell point or a load and unload point the cover of the car you wanted to use would open automatically now we have to switch between them the only problem with this menu is if you're on a very light patch of sky it's incredibly hard to see so you have to go into something a little bit darker if I press triangle now on the PlayStation controller the tractor is telling me that's the, the uh, loco and then we've got each car train car behind so that's the, the next one behind wheat press it again the one behind that press it again it's the log trailer carriage press it again the root crop one press it again I've got the flatbed now what I can do if I put the help menu back on again I can for each one so I'm on the flatbed at the moment I can do R3 fasten unfasten tension belts if I switch to the front one I can open cover so I'll zoom in a little bit on that only downside and I th it, is, you know, it is a bit of a downside so I do open cover now so they don't do it automatically anymore you have to open the covers and you have to do the tension belts and those kind of things um, yourself by flicking between each particular carriage or car which is it's great it's a nice feature it kind of adds into the whole thing 
one drawback is this that if I pull back from the main loco that's my draw distance that's as far back as I can go which means if I am trying to open up carriages and see whether my tension belts are on or not I can't see from in cab because I can't see far enough back down the train which kind of means you have to do it come down check to see whether they're done then go back again it, that's a bit fiddly I think um, but that might be where some people are going wrong I've had a lot of people saying they can't load or unload into a silo they can't load or unload or unload at a sell point it could be because you haven't switched the right car the right carriage um, so I'm going to use the, the front one the green one for this which I've now got it on and I'm going to zoom in And the silos are kind of all part or part of they're integral to i suppose i could have done a separate guide to on silos but it just makes sense to do it all in one go so what i'm going to do now is l1 and open cover and it comes up with an option there l3 to start filling this is no different to filling from any other silo anywhere else into my train if i press l3 it asks me which one i want to load in so i'm going to go with the wheat again wheat barley oats canola it goes through everything that's in there um, but I'm going to do the wheat again just to show you. So if I press start, that will now load up the 15,888, I think, 880 something that was in there. Right hand corner, down by the dial, speedo, it tells me now I've got my 15,000, sorry, 588, not 800, 588 litres of wheat has gone into that carriage. Now the, down the bottom in the middle it says start overloading, R1 and triangle. So I've loaded into this train car, but underneath the train car, underneath the silo point here, we've also got this section, which has got these hazard mark bits on, and this is to unload. So when it says overloading, I can load from the silo into the train, but I can also unload from the train into the silo. So it becomes kind of circular thing. Um, so at the moment I've got the 15,588 in there, and that's come down this pipe and into the train. What I can do now is unload from the train into this grate at the bottom, which will take it back into the silo. What I'm going to do is check that menu, because what should be different now is, if I zoom in, under my wheat, other now my um, farm silo has been drained a little bit because I've got a trailer full of wheat. The silo's other is now showing zero, because I've emptied that silo that's now in the train. Okay, so that's now all good. It's in the train. What I can do now is go back in if I want to. If I want to get into the train, there we go. If I now press R1 and triangle, that's going to unload out the bottom. You can see it coming out the bottom there. Into that grate, that's now gone back into the silo. So we check the silo again. 15,588 is back in the silo. Wonderful. Happy days. On the other side of the silo, or it depends on the actual silo, um, there will all be slightly different depending on maps, but you've got a load point for the, each silo, so you can bring crops off your fields, in trailers, in whatever it is you're transporting them in, and you can put them into the silo in this grate here. So you're basically just filling the silo up, which is wonderful. Put up to 200,000 litres in here, and this just means the trains are there to help you move stuff around the map in bulk either to a cell point or to another part of the map where you might want to unload it into the other silo on the other side of the map or whatever it might be if you want to take out of the silo here using a tractor trailer truck trailer you can do it from here and again like i say each silo will be slightly different you might have a pipe you might have a, you know various different things so we can load and unload into the silo either using a tractor trailer combo or with the train so I can unload from the train into here and then collect it with a tractor trailer. I can put it in with the tractor trailer, put it in the train and off it goes. All different combinations. So what I'm going to do now is take my fear. I'm now going to add to the silo the 8,000 litres that I've got in here. So it should take me up to 23,588, uh, shouldn't it? So if I unload that, we look in our menu
23,588. So now our silo other has been added with what came out of our farm silo, that's now in silo other. And we are at farm silo, at uh, railroad silo uh, east. So we're at railroad silo east. There is railroad silo uh, west. And then we've also got the cell point, which is our port grain elevator. All of those are on the train line. So that's done. Happy with that. And that's now ready to go into the train. So continuing on with our train theme, we are going to load into this. So start filling L3. We're going to put all of that wheat in, all 23,000 litres, because for some particular reason, whatever it might be, we want to transport it across the map. Right, that's full now. So I'm going to close the cover, like so, and we're going to head off. R2 to accelerate, L2 to slow down. I can also put cruise control on. L1, R1, and circle, and it will go up to 49 miles per hour. I've got mine on miles per hour, not kilometers per hour. And off we go. Happy days. Now these won't derail. You can't go around a bend too fast and they'll flip over or anything like that. As far as trains go, you'll be fine. But you see what I mean when I come out, if I bring my draw distance out as far as I can possibly go, which is that, that's it. If I swing around, that's as close to any of those cars I can get. So if I swing around to try and see the ones at the back, they're just a little bit too far away to see well enough so it means kind of getting in and out of the train to check what you're doing it can be a little bit frustrating but that's just the way the trains work um i haven't managed to work out because it says select camera and what would be quite cool if you had one where you could bounce back through the carriages maybe um, if i press r3 now it just puts me in cab or out of cab you can't actually do that so we are now coming up on grain silo west so what i do need to do now is hit l3 uh l2 sorry and start slowing down. So hopefully I'm going to get my grain car over the unload point, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to slow down enough. Oh, I might do. So you see the hazard mark box. I'm over that, and that has come up now to say that I can unload. Start overloading. So if I start overloading, I don't need to open the cover, I'm not putting into it, I'm taking out of it. So if I start overloading, we look at the bottom of the car, if I try and get the angle just right, there, R1 and triangle, it unloads into that grate. So I'm now filling up this other silo, silo other. Go across. So grain silo other is still showing, whoops, wrong way still showing 23,588 I've just switched it from one silo to another silo that's pretty much all there is to it really um, I can now if I want to I can reload into the train which I'm going to do in a second or if I really wanted to if there's a better selling point price somewhere else I could and this silo I think is slightly different I can bring a tractor trailer yeah slightly different I can bring a tractor trailer over come under this point here load into the tractor trailer and take it off to a cell point somewhere else so it's just another transport aid the, the train is just to help you take things around the map you know you can do it in slightly larger bulk um, a lot of people don't use them they don't bother um, what was nice on Goldcrest Valley actually what I need to do now then is I need to open cover I'm gonna fill it back up with the wheat Close cover. The key to this is making sure that, like I say, that top left hand corner where you've got the tractor symbol, I'll zoom in on that now, the tractor symbol and the uh, the carriages things, or trailers, whatever you want to look at, that will be the same for tractor trailers, truck trailers, whatever it is, it will show you the tractor symbol and I can just bounce between each particular car or carriage. You notice it's only when I get back to the front one that it comes up with the start overloading because that's the one that's over that point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to accelerate away. And we're going to head down to the cell point. 
because what we're going to decide to do is sell that grain. Now I've got 23,000 litres in that and that's showing oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter full do you reckon? Probably a quarter full, maybe just under a quarter full. So I reckon you're looking at this train car will hold about 100,000 litres maybe. Which is not to be sniffed at. If you fill that up with 100,000 litres and I would imagine as well if you can put, I didn't check that did I, but in the other carriages as well, that's something for you to have a fiddle around with. Um, you can take a fair old bit of bulk around the map with you. So we are now just arriving at the port grain elevator. This is not a silo. This is the sell point. So please, whatever you do, don't bring your crop here thinking you're going to put it into storage if you wanted to store it. Um, if you bring it here, this is the sell point. Um, so on this particular map, and I think on um, Felsbrunn, it is is it train mill i think it's called anyway so this is the sell point if i just have one more quick look into this menu as you can see our silos other is now showing empty for wheat because we've got it in the train so that's now gone it's out of the tr out of the silo into the train so what we're going to do now is go over the sell point which is just here it's going to come up with that symbol again there you go start overloading but like I say, be careful, you're not overloading, you are unloading, and this is selling. So as I unload now, let's keep an eye on that. Yeah, the, the camera is, I need to, they need to bring out the mod for disable camera collision. Um, so if I press um, R1 and triangle now, that will unload into that sell point and we will make a bit of money. There we go. 16,000 we just made. 16,007 whole dollars. And that's pretty much all there is to the trains. The trains and silos are linked, really, or the silos on the train track, the railroad track, are linked. Um, you can use this for lumber, you can use it for root crops, you can use it for grains, um, you can use it for wood chips, um, you know, anything you want to. Just really make sure you keep an eye on that top left hand corner and that you're on the right carriage or car for loading and unloading for tension straps because if you're on for example the grain one and you're frantically looking to see if I'm pressing toggling through that help menu and you can't work out why it's not coming up with tension straps and you've got pallets on the back and you it's pr probably because you're on the wrong one if I go uh, to the second then to the third which is my log one and now go through the menu fast and unfast fast and tension belts that's you know It'd be nice to have a log carriage, I think. Or a map where you've got a sawmill on the railroad track. It'd be cool to have one of these that tips. So it would tip into a sail point. That would be amazing. So the problem we've got on this map as well at the moment, the um, the sawmill is up on the hill. So you have to unload this. There's not a crane. That's, that's like actually something I've just realised, yeah. On a, neither of these maps is there a point on the railroad track where you've got a crane to unload this. So you'd have to unload it with another vehicle, which means driving that vehicle across the map as well as the train, which kind of a, it renders this a little bit useless. I know it sounds, it sounds a bit harsh, but... Yeah, uh, it does seem a bit... Anyway, never mind, that's trains. I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. Um, it's all about picking that right train car um, and using those silos, whichever way around you want. A lot of people end up just using tractor trailer combinations and transporting across the map using those. But if you desperately want to get this into your gameplay, then that's how you do it. If you have found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching